that dude dug power perspective. You know, in these trying times, people are forever looking for something to put their hope in, something to strengthen their faith, something to just look at as a positive in the midst of all this would be negative. And I, my friends, have found that. Ladies and gentlemen, Earl Simmons, better known as DMX, was on Instagram today on the Sabbath reading the Bible. And I don't know about you, but DMX reading the Bible is an American treasure we should all enjoy. I personally believe DMX is the most faithful, ferocious, spiritual, violent, vulgar, yet tender soul I have ever had the joy of listening to. I have all of DMX's albums from His Dark and Hell is Hot to Grand Champion, which pretty much gives us nothing but volume after volume after volume of barking, biting, robbing, stealing, everything that is needed for the mold of the master's hands. So it is nothing but fitting for DMX to be the one to be our spiritual guidance through all of this. I personally believe DMX should be given a contract to read the Bible on audio. Can you imagine what that would sound like? DMX reading the Bible on audio? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was our form and void, and darkness was upon the deep. And the Lord said, arr, arr. you like, nigga, God don't bark. But the dog talks. God speaks, but DMX moves his feet. God spills, but DMX is real. <laughs> I personally would take it a step further. I think DMX should open his own church. That's right. It should be called First Mount Rough Rider or Def Jam Baptist or whatever. I personally would go. Can you imagine that? DMX is the pastor. DMX, this is exactly how his sermon would start. DMX and my dogs bite. Fuck these niggas that go against Christ. You're like, yes, amen. Fuck these niggas that go against Christ. I didn't know you could put a cuss word in Christ in the same sentence, but if he's letting DMX do it, why can't I? I'm telling you, could you imagine that Eve would be the first lady? Who's that girl that came in with a two short skirt? That would be my joint. The locks. They would be the ones gathering up the offering and stuff. And we'd be like, well, how are we going to build this new building? And all of a sudden, you just hear them saying, you know what? We going to make it. We going to make it. That joke would be great, like for real. And he bring guest pastors like Rev Run uh, or, or, or Snoop would be the one giving the benediction. Can you imagine Snoop giving the benediction? Yo, right now, I'd like to bring Reverend Broadus, a.k.a. Pastor Snoop, to give us the benediction and let us go. Bow, wow, wow, yippee, yo, yippee, yay. The spirit's definitely in the house. Bow, wow, wow, yippee, yes, yeah, Snoop. The spirit is definitely in the house. I said, bow, wow, wow, yippee, yo, yippee, yay. The sounds of the Lord's voice brings me to another day. I was like, yes, I'm coming to this church. I'm just saying, food for thought, scrape the plate.